Hi, I'm Don Feaster. I'm Andrew Richardson. We're professors in the Department of Organismic and Evolutionary Biology. And we teach Science of Living Systems 25, Trees, Forests, and Climate Change. Trees are truly remarkable organisms. The largest redwoods grow to the height of a 30-story building, the smallest bonsai to just a foot in height. Forests cover nearly a third of the Earth's land surface area, and some trees can live to be thousands of years old. Forests provide goods and services for society and are important for economic and cultural reasons. We rely on forests for clean water, wood and fiber, and recreational opportunities. Have you ever wondered about the types of trees that are planted in Harvard Yard? Why they grow the way they do, or why there are oaks and several other species here now, rather than elms that graced the campus a century ago? Have you ever thought about how a tree as tall as William James Hall can move water from roots to leaves? Or how such large organisms can grow from tiny seeds? Have you ever wondered why some trees have leaves all year round, while other trees drop their leaves every autumn? How some trees grow on dry ridges, while others grow only in wet, swampy areas? Have you ever thought about what the forests of New England looked like before European settlers arrived? You've no doubt read in the newspaper about climate change. What's the big deal about more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? Do you ask yourself about what effects climate change might have on the forest near your home? Did you know that forests themselves affect climate? In SLS 25, we explore how trees are constructed, how trees grow, and what climate change means for trees, forest ecosystems, and human society.